right. Good afternoon, YouTube. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Festivus to all of you. We're going to do your full moon forecast. So let's get right to it. So December 26th, we have this full moon in Cancer. It's on Tuesday and it hits about 7.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is also called a cold moon or a long night's moon. This moon usually aligns with the winter solstice and represents a time where nature basically sleeps, growth stops, and reflection and stillness are in order. This is the time of year when we all need to take time to celebrate the achievements of this past year. No matter how big or small they are, their achievements. The days begin to rebirth now and they get longer now and setting those goals for the year ahead will be blessed. We just had winter solstice on the 21st, so now the days are getting a little bit longer. This moon is all about family and emotions and these next few weeks may bring dramas with family, emotions with parents and significant changes to the domestic atmosphere. Changes may come in the areas of employment, business contracts, and domestic relationships. Expect the coming changes of beginnings and endings to take place in all of our lives. This energy will affect the USA and Great Britain in a major way. Nature will become active with bad weather, earthquakes, this is even volcanoes and eruptions, um, sudden loss of sudden loss where people will have to relocate due to natural disasters. Um, many will be forced to move due to these issues. So just be prepared for those headlines in the news. All right. Cancer full moons represent significant events. Sig boy, I can't talk. Represent significant events and major changes both personally and globally. This is also divine feminine energy and we must look at the Gaia energy to restore our connection with nature as humans. Now through the ages humans weren't always disconnected to nature but as modern time goes on and moves on we are very disconnected. We're always on our phones and we always have that little electronic device in our hand. Um, and we don't see the signs around us in nature signaling. These are messages. Um, but we need to go back to the source of divine mother energy and see the signs with nature and be one with nature and the earth. Humans forget they are children of nature as well and they need to connect with it. Now, this is going to be very emotional. This will be a very emotional full moon where no matter what house it hits by any sign, we feel it strongly. It will be all the water signs that feel this intensely and the strongest. So Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And of course, all the souls born with the sun, moon, rising, dragon's head or tail, and Cancer, and the sun sign of Capricorn too, will feel this moon phase the strongest. And best advice is to not make any drastic decisions for these next two weeks until that new moon um, on, I think it's, I thought it was January 9th, but I believe it's the, it's either the 11th or the 12th. Um, that new moon is the green light go. Okay. My magical folk. Now, Cancer full moons are one of the best energies for divination and psychic work. Any sort of magic to manifest your dream home, housing or rental, buying and selling real estate is going to work well under this moon's energy. With the Cancer moon in its strongest and dignified in its luminary, any spell work for fertility matters are blessed now. Cancer rules the, the womb, the breast, and the stomach. So ritual work for the healing of those areas is very blessed under these stars. 
it's water energy so remember that is a very potent energy for fertility cancer full moons is one of the most potent for fertility and home manifestation whether it's buying or renting happy magic making now the two-week forecast is available for patreons only but i will share capricorn's forecast since we just it just went into goat season you can join for five dollars a month but capricorns there is a dramatic shift with business and domestic matters. Beginnings and endings could be ahead in business or domestic situations. It's a good time to focus on you and take care of your needs. You receive this energy in the seventh house of sharing, partnerships, marriage, and contracts. So working on better business relations and marriage is the focus these next few weeks. Do not sign any contracts these next few weeks, and some may even be dealing with a divorce. There will be some Capricorns that will be dealing with divorce. Capricorn's mission is to plan. These next two weeks, your mission, Capricorn, is to plan, reevaluate, prepare, and take action on that new moon in your sign of Capricorn. I put January 9th. But I believe that that is a mistake. I think it is January 11th, and that is my fault. If you just give me a second, I'm going to go look at my calendar right now. And it is January 11th is the new moon in Capricorn. So let me change the date on that. But yes, January 11th. So these next few weeks, really focus on time with family over anything else. And that's the immediate family. Now, like I said, these next few weeks will be filled with intense emotion, hurt feelings, and misunderstandings. We go into Christmas weekend in Munich energy, and this can create a deadly scenario, like I said once again, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and erratic weather. Throw in a Gemini moon on the 24th and the 25th with Mercury retrograde, and the family dinner table can turn into arguments and misunderstandings. So try and keep the conversation light and cheery. And even in, in modern astrology, Mer uh, Mercury goes direct on the 1st. But in my ancient astrology, it is January 7th. So remember that Mercury is retrograde. So speak clear and concise when talking with relatives. This also brings intensity for the U.S. and England, too. So expect news from those countries as well. I do feel it, it may not happen this weekend, but in the weeks to come here, I do feel that um, there could be an, a terrorist attack on American soil. I believe that's imminent especially with the chaos going on in the Middle East. And, and this could have economic impact for the USA. And something is brewing in currency and finances that I will share next week for the general public on Financial Fridays on the 29th. Once again, Patreon has already received this vital information. And you can too if you join for five bucks a month. But that information will have to wait till next week. Like I said, Patreon's already received it. Stock up these next few weeks on cash, gas, water, batteries, food, especially non-perishable items, pet food, litter, etc. If you have pets and cats, dog food. I'm not trying to scare anyone, but be proactive and not reactive to issues and situations that arise. Prepare yourself because what's in store for the American middle class will be will be devastating on American lives. So it's better to be safe than sorry and prepare. And if you want all that information, you can join Patreon. I'm wishing all of you a wonderful holiday season. Enjoy the holiday season with friends and family. Work around those negative windows. This is usually for Patreon because they have those dates and be safe. I'm wishing all of you a very blessed Yule, Merry Christmas, and a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2024. Um, this is the year, 2024, where 
I'll, I'll repeat it again. Hold on. 2024 is the year millionaires are made. 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4 equals 8. It represents the infinity number. So this is the year that the middle class get wiped out and millionaires are made. Thousandaires are made. Billionaires are made. Trillionaires are made. Maybe it's one of you out there. Maybe it's me. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But either way, be safe. Enjoy the holidays, but prepare for some drastic changes coming in 2024. I will guide you through as much as I can. But if you haven't invested in digital currency, you might just be missing the boat. Uh, I would do that before the 1st of January. And this is not financial advice. There's always a disclaimer on my um site here that's that has a disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor i am an astrologer who has been investing in crypto for the past eight years and i am very passionate about it and it's been written in the stars so i know it's coming and i know it's true and you can't get rid of it even the great seer himself nostradamus saw it and called it the new money the new gold bitcoin xrp all of it Anyway, be safe and blessings to all. Have a wonderful holiday. Bye.